Come to Jesus by Newman Hall. Listen, dear fellow sinner, how kind, how wonderful an invitation this is. God speaks and speaks to thee. The Father says, come. The Son says, come. The Holy Spirit says, come. The blessed angels, ec angels echo the cry, come. Many poor sinners who have accepted the call join their voices in the appeal and say, come to Jesus. This little message unites in the entreaty, poor sinner, and with all earnestness, plainness, and affection implores thee to come to Jesus. When he was himself on earth, well knowing and full of pity for the sufferings and sins of men, as he looked round on the crowd which one day surrounded him, he tenderly said, Come unto me, all ye that, are, that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. What he said then, he says now. The invitation he gave to the men of that day, he gives to thee, my fellow sinner. Come unto me. Art thou not heavy laden with guilt? Oh, then come to Jesus, and thou shalt find rest. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. He promises rest, but far better than rest of body is rest of soul. It is wretched to be a slave, to groan, bleed, toil, but far worse to be Satan's bondman, dragging about an evil conscience and an aching heart. Rest from this cannot be had but by coming to Jesus. And if we come, he will lighten every other load. Are you poor? Come and he will make you rich forever. Are you sick? Come and he will cure your worst disease. Are you sad? Come and he will wipe away your tears. Are you bereaved? Come and he will be to you a brother in adversity, who changes not and never dies. Is sin a burden? Oh, then come to Jesus, and he will take it all away. Do you dread the day of death and judgment? Come, and that day will be the dawn of life and glory. Oh, then come. To be merely called by such a person should be enough to make us glad. Of a stranger we might say, perhaps he intends me no good. Of a poor man, he cannot assist me, however willing. Of a selfish, rich man, who can expect aught from him? But if a Howard or a Wilberforce said to a mourner, come, he might feel quite sure some kindness was intended. Now he who invites thee, sinner, is a, both able and willing to help. He has clothes for the naked, food for the hungry, wealth for the poor, eternal life for all. His very word, come, is enough to make thee glad. A blind beggar by the wayside, hearing that Jesus Christ was passing by, cried out, mercy, mercy. The people told him to be quiet. But he shouted the louder, Have mercy on me. Jesus invited him. And then some said, as though he might not be quite sure of a blessing, Be of good comfort. Rise, he calleth thee. They knew Jesus never called, and then refused. So they told him to rejoice. Sinner, be you of good cheer. The same Jesus calleth thee. As the blind man threw off his cloak, lest it should hinder him, do you cast off every sin that would stop you? Rush through every crowd of difficulties, and falling at the feet of Jesus, say, Have mercy on me. I am blind. I am lost. Save, or I perish. Are you too great a sinner? The more need to come. Have you a guilty conscience? With that guilty conscience, come. Have you a wicked heart? With that wicked heart, come. Have you nothing with which to purchase his favor? 
without money, come. Rich and poor, masters and servants, old and young, white man and black and any other color, sinners of every class, come.